Hi, Ryan Michael Galloway here with WeDon'tNeedNoStinkingRecordCompany.com and I've told you uh, that I uh, consider myself at the level right now of an artisan musician. Artisan musician is not actually a very bad place to be because you can make a lot more money than even just having a gold record if you run this right. And I'm talking about building your career by hand. I'm talking about one fan at a time. I'm talking, you know, five to ten year commitment probably get to the point where you've got a thousand true fans. And of course, a true fan is somebody who spends a day's wages on you a year and puts you in a, you know, a, a six-figure income bracket pretty easily. So um, I'm in the middle of that right now. Uh, this is uh, you know my third or fourth time up the up the, the ladder of the music business. It is a restart for me. I'm about uh, four years into it or so. So right now, um, I'm, I'm going to give you some tricks about that particular level. And uh, you know, we, we talked about uh, a few weeks ago about putting a speaker out on the street when you're playing somewhere that's got a high traffic area, because if you're good, it'll draw people into the room. And uh, in the next few posts, I'm going to tell you about one that went magically well doing that and everything else I could think of. So one of the other things I thought of at this level, and of course I'm, uh, I'm mixing cover tunes and original tunes, because it seems to be the easiest way to get a lot of venues to book me and also get my originals exposed to people and also be able to sell CDs. So um, I went to, um, uh, I had a great gig uh, about a week ago and I, again we'll expound on that some more. But one of the things that I did that induced a lot of conversation and got a lot of interaction going with the audience was, and, and also induced a lot of tips and a lot of requests to buy CDs and that kind of thing, was to have a song list of everything that I played and, of course, I'm, I'm up to about 90 songs right now, which is nothing compared to some of the piano bar folks that I know that, <clears throat> you know, <coughs> seem to, to know every, every song that's ever been written. But, um, so I'm up to 90 songs, and some of them I have to pull out lyrics for to, to catch up on when I'm, I'm, uh, I'm playing. But if people know what you played, they don't have to sit back and guess, hey, do you know, hey, do you know, hey, do you know, whatever. They know because they can go down the list and go, ooh, I really want to hear that one, or I really want to hear that one, or that one, or that one. And if you play that, of course, traditionally, they're going to give you a tip for that. Now, there's a little bit more uh, complexity to this situation. Don't just go uh, all around to all the tables before anybody's there and leave a set list. Now, Remember, I've mentioned that I've, I'm very slightly mildly autistic. I've got something called uh, Asperger's Syndrome. And one of the things that makes it a little difficult for me is to bust in on a conversation unless I really got a, a, a mission, something to talk about. So this becomes a mechanism for me to be able to converse with people a little bit more easily. Of course, since I've had Asperger, I'm Asperger's, I know a lot about music. I kind of go uh, a little hard and heavy into one subject and I can talk forever about it, and so it's a, a chance to induce some of the conversations that are really comfortable for me to have, and so it's a social lubricant. Well, like as not, if you're playing a, a list of songs, and you, even if you don't have the problem that I have, this is going to help you uh, create a way to, to talk to folks and uh, induce conversation. But what you do is, every break that you have, first of all, end, end your sets with a good rousing number that people generally like, and you've got to get a response and say, I'm going to be right back, I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to come out and talk to you all. And then go visit every single table in the club and say, by the way, if you guys uh, you know, have something you'd like to hear that I play, here's my song list and check it out. And they immediately dive into it and start reading it. Okay. Um, so that creates a way to have a conversation and a way to connect with people on a very personal basis, even if you're not very good at it, like... Uh, like me, I mean, just talking to strangers, um, there's a little bit of a barrier there for me. Um, I, I can get there really good if I have something to talk about uh, that I know about, and this is the perfect fit. So try that. It's a two-step process. Number one, to, you know, create the song list, and number two, go out and pass it out at the beginning of every break. And if you go out and you see, you know, the second break, you're going to notice some tables have turned over. So you go to those that have turned over, and you've you introduce uh, yourself and, and give them that uh, that request list, and again, uh, you know, it, it's a chance to, to meet the new folks that just came in, and get a conversation going with them, get a little bit more connected. It also forces you to go around the room, and um, you know, I've, I've seen that really 
seen a couple of gigs recently, saw that blow up in somebody's face uh, that didn't do that, and uh, this, this is a much better deal. So anyway, um, we'll talk about all this a little bit more. I'm Ryan Michael Galloway, and we don't need no stinking record company.com.